Hey everyone, it's Bubbly041 and I'm back with another video. First, I'm going to apologize. I do have a cold right now, so if you hear any, you know, sneezing, coughing, sniffling, stuff like that, I apologize in advance. Um, but I'm just going to show you a couple new additions that I got to my herd from a model horse show that I went to two weeks ago on May 4th. It was an all-novice model horse show and I was actually the judge for the show, which was really awesome. Which is why I didn't see any show string videos, placings videos, experience videos, etc. Because I was judging, I didn't have time for pictures, and I wasn't an entrant, so I didn't bring any horses to show. Um, so I'll show you the horses that I did come away with from the show. Um, it was a really great time had by all... It's my second time judging a live show. I've judged multiple photo shows. I had exhibitors come up to me after the show talking about how inspired they were to just continue honing their craft in either performance or halter or both, and that they were very excited to just continue with the model horse showing aspect of the hobby, uh, which most of you know is what I do. I collect a show, and I was just really glad to share that enthusiasm with others. Uh, they learned a lot. Everybody gained a lot of knowledge, and I explained my placings after every class, which I think was just really eye-opening for them, um, and it was just a really great time had by everybody. So I'm just going to show you what I walked away with. It's a small haul, only a couple models to share with you, um, but I'll get started and show you what I got. So first is not really horses. They're briar related, but not horses. Um, I'm trying to get all of the pocket dogs and cats that I can. I'm doing pretty well. I only have a couple left of cats and dogs to get. Uh, so I ended up picking up four of these guys at the show because the show hostess had them on her website already, you know, out of the box, so I knew these were the ones that I would get and, and etc. So I've ended up picking up the Chow Chow dog and he came with the German Shepherd. They were a set. Um, so I got both of them and then I got the Doberman and he was in a set with the Beagle, um, which I thought this was a flaw the way that his leg is but I learned that it's actually supposed to be that way. So I got those four dogs to add to my collection, and I thought that was pretty great. I said I'm only a couple away from completing it, so that was uh, good progress on that. Uh, the next model that I got was from the raffle. I won a Palomino Magnolia in the raffle. Um, really good amount of... Uh, donations for the raffle. There was like 20 items and every item had tickets. Every item was uh, picked up. So I thought that was really great. I donated some things. So it was awesome to see all of those fine new homes. I got two blind bags. That's the only thing I won in the raffle. Unfortunately, no Silver Chase Alvaroso for me. I got two of the same model. So I got two Palomino Magnolias. I gave one to my sister and this one is either going to be for sale or, you know, something else. So we'll see, see where its uh, journey leads it. But not not planning on showing it. It has flaws, and I don't really like this mold for showing. I think it's a little bit on the cartoony side, so uh, that is that. The next model that I got, because it was May 4th, it was also Kentucky Derby Day, so there was a derby game held at the middle of the day. Um, I ended up winning that game. It was a game with Plinko balls. There was three, you know, the top three balls that hit the bottom first, got a prize. My ball hit the bottom first, so I ended up getting the classic American Feral model, Really nice model. He doesn't have a whole lot of flaws on him. Um, I do not like this mold for showing purposes. I think it is one of the nicer and cuter classic molds to just look at. Um, but I don't really like the mold for showing purposes, so he's going to find a new home, probably. Um, his forelock is not attached to his face, which I think is kind of weird. Not my favorite aspect about him. Um, but I do think he's, he's a cute model for sure, just not really kind of going to fit well in my collection at this time. So he will probably find a new home, but he does have the detailed, uh, the detailed eyes, which I think is pretty cool. He does have the brown in his eyes. So yeah, so that is him. And the last model I have to show you is the biggest model of them all. It's a traditional. I picked him up because being the judge, I got a $50 certificate to the Triple Mountain Horses um, website. And she also has a mobile store that was there that day. Uh, she was the hostess for the show. I can't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning or not. So I ended up picking up a traditional model with that gift card. Um, so I will show him to you now. I picked him out of four four models. I got a new inbox, Redades, Redides. I don't know how you say his name. Please correct me uh, if I'm wrong. Um, so I got him. He's a really, really nice shaded bay on the Celtic Selenero mold. His markings are pretty clean and crisp compared to the four that I looked at. Um, and I think he was on the side of his box, is what you could see. So, um, But yeah, his markings are pretty crisp. His face marking is crisp. Um, he has really nice shading, and his eyes are really detailed. See that he has the really nice bicolor eyes. So I thought that was great um, to see in a regular run model from Briar. Oops. Yeah, 
So, uh, some things to fix on him. I think he has some rubs along his ear tips, the outer edge of his ears, so I am going to try to fix those up. Uh, he does have some yellow at the edges of his face marking there, so I am going to try to cover that up if I can. Yeah, like right there, you know, just kind of his ear tips and things, try to fix that up. He does have two shiny marks, one on his barrel, which I don't know if I'll be able to find for you because it's not that noticeable. It might be like right there. Uh, the biggest noticeable one that he has is on this side and it's on the point of his hip. Uh, right there. You can see it right there. Um, that's kind of his biggest shiny mark, so again, I'm going to try to fix those up. Uh, the only other flaw that he really has is just these two dots on his leg right here from being in the box. I think it's the wires that they put around their legs that were just interfering with it. So he has that bump right there, and then he has one on the upper part of his leg that you can see right there. Um, so those are mostly his flaws. I am going to try to fix them up as best as I can. I'm going to go through all my models and really try to spruce them up as best as I can before uh, Briarfest, before the open show that I am planning on attending. Um, so his name is going to be Take a Chance. He's the only one that gets a name because, again, the other two I'm not really planning on keeping. So um, that's going to be his name. I don't have a bar name for him. But I am excited to add another model into my collection, especially a regular run as nice as this. Um, so really excited about him. I will have more videos coming out in the future. I might do a pocket box pets collection tour. I'm planning on doing more Briarfest videos as I get more Briarfest items and as it comes closer. And I am waiting on one more model uh, before I do kind of a couple new arrivals that I've gotten within the past couple months or so. So look out for those videos. They'll be out soon. I hope you guys uh, have an awesome weekend. Let me know down in the comments if you've been to any shows recently, any favorites that you've picked up from shows, things like that. I always love to hear about model horse shows, watch videos about them, and talk about about them. Um, so I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!